Hi there, James Miller here for VFX Nomad, and this is a quick little video on how to scan something with your phone and turn it into a 3D object. So first off, what we're gonna do is pick some things to scan. Here I have a little skull that I've used before. Download an app, so the one that I've been using is called Capture. And when you download it, you should get something like this. Uh, it's a front-facing camera, so if I look at myself, uh, you should be able to see me, and there I am. So the scan is definitely gonna be the hardest part of this whole process, mostly because the app decides when it's had enough. There's no way for you to say, keep going, and there's no way for you to add to an existing scan. So you just have to keep trying to make that circle around the object until you get something that you think is passable. Once you've done so, if you click over here, you'll see any of the scans that you did and be able to review them as a point cloud over here, which is great. So this is the one that I'm gonna be working with. It's a little skull that I just did on the kitchen table. Now the main part is done. We are ready to take this out of the app. Now it's not quite as simple as just pressing export and you're done, but it's similar. So if you click on the right hand side, what you're gonna find here is hopefully you've made an account. I think you have to sign up, it might be like two or $5. But what it allows you to do is then access this on their web browser. So up here at the top, I have this access scans and browser button. If I press it, it's gonna ask me to log in with the details that I just did. Now I have the login on my computer screen, so I'm just gonna switch over to that real quick. So this is exactly the same as what the phone was just bringing up. This is it in my web browser. I can click on one of these images, it takes a second to build it, and once it does, we should be able to see the same skull that we were just looking at on my phone, which is great. Now, if you look on the right-hand side, it should say download is PLY and OBJ. Again, I think it's you have to unlock the OBJ one with a couple of dollars. Feel free to try a different app if you, if you can find one. Um, we're gonna download this OBJ export. Now, this is the part that caught me by surprise is when this exports, this is a point cloud. This is not a skinned uh, mesh, it's not a mesh. We're gonna have to take a little bunny hop to make that happen. Now, the manufacturers themselves, which are called Standard Cyborg, they recommend using a program called MeshLab. And you can download MeshLab for free. Uh, just go to meshlab.net. And again, it's, it's a free app. So if you have a full version of Nuke, you could try this with a Poisian mesh. Uh, probably do exactly the same thing. We're gonna open Mesh Lab, and this is what it looks like. So I have no real desire to spend a long time in this program. It looks like it does an awful lot and it's very clever, but I don't really need to learn a whole new program right now. So I'm gonna go to my downloads folder, I'm gonna click on the scan, and I'm gonna open it. Now my goal here is just to get us a mesh as quickly as possible and get out. Once you press load, you're gonna see it on the right hand side and it's gonna take a second to cook. Now we have our mesh over here, which is great. Simplest way to get out of here is gonna to be to go to filters. And what we wanna do is we wanna basically skin the point cloud. We can go to remeshing, which is great. And it's gonna, this bottom option here is gonna be uh, poison mesh reconstruction, which is ultimately what we want. If we click on this, we get this option box. I'm not gonna change anything. I'm gonna hit apply and it's gonna throw an error. And the error is that basically this mesh doesn't have any normals. So when it exported it from the phone, it didn't bring any normals. The normals are the things that tell it up, up, down, left, right. Again, don't wanna spend ages on this. So we'll go back up to filters. We're gonna to go to point cloud, point set, sorry. And we're gonna say compute normals for point set. Give it a second, leave everything the same, press apply. It takes a second to cook. We're gonna close that, go back to filters and click the same thing that we just did. So we're gonna go remeshing screen poise you mesh, apply. And then what we should get is on the right hand side, so let's close that dialog box. On the right hand side, I now have two meshes. If I turn the eyedropper off the top one, we see this bottom one, make sure you select it. It says poise mesh and that's our skull. In this particular case, we have the table as well. You can either get rid of that in your cleanup application, but in case this is it, this is what you want and you don't wanna go any further, just a quick two second tutorial on this. These things here will allow you to pick uh, areas and, and delete points from them. So we can click any particular area like this, get it close enough, click this button here and it's gonna erase them. Um, these does it, this button on the left does it by clusters, this one on the right does it by planes. So it's a little bit easier for getting rid of everything underneath the skull, but then you're gonna see it's got this kind of scrappy edges to it. Uh, last but not least, you can click on this kind of region select and we can select these edges here and hit delete. Now, what you'll have noticed just then is 
even though it was highlighting before, it stopped highlighting now. This is something that I come across all the time. And again, another reason to not stay in this program. Now I have a skull. We're just gonna go file. And we're gonna say export mesh as, and we don't want a PLY. What we want is an OBJ. I'm just gonna put it in my downloads folder for now for the sake of this little demo. And off it goes, we're gonna say, all right. And that's kind of it, really. You now have an object that you can use. You scanned it on your phone. It may have taken a second, but once you've gone through this process once, you don't really need to worry about it again, and hopefully that's good. And just to prove that it did in fact export okay, I've imported this quickly into ZBrush. Here you go, there's the skull. If you hit double-sided, it should display okay. Single-sided will look a bit odd because the normals are flipped. But yeah, you can do a little bit of cleanup here, flip your normals and then fill in any holes that you want. But by and large, that was an extremely quick way to get a model and you just use your phone to do it. So hopefully that was useful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them and uh, help you out. All right, enjoy, bye.